Digital Signal Processing Digital Signal Processing, DSP, is the use of digital processing, such as by computers or more specialized digital signal processors, to perform a wide variety of signal processing operations. The signals processed in this manner are a sequence of numbers that represent samples of a continuous variable in a domain such as time, space, or frequency. Digital signal processing and analog signal processing are subfields of signal processing. DSP applications include audio and speech processing, sonar, radar and other sensor array processing, spectral density estimation, statistical signal processing, digital image processing, signal processing for telecommunications, control systems, biomedical engineering, seismology, among others. DSP can involve linear or nonlinear operations. Nonlinear signal processing is closely related to nonlinear system identification and can be implemented in time, frequency, and spatiotemporal domains. The application of digital computation to signal processing allows for many advantages over analog processing in many applications, such as error detection and correction and transmission as well as data compression. DSP is applicable to both streaming data and static, stored, data. To digitally analyze and manipulate an analog signal, it must be digitized with an analog-to-digital converter, ADC. Sampling is usually carried out in two stages, discretization and quantization. Discretization means that the signal is divided into equal intervals of time, and each interval is represented by a single measurement of amplitude. Quantization means each amplitude measurement is approximated by a value from a finite set. Rounding real numbers to integers is an example. The Nyquist-Shannon sampling theorem states that a signal can be exactly reconstructed from its samples if the sampling frequency is greater than twice the highest frequency component in the signal. In practice, the sampling frequency is often significantly higher than twice the Nyquist frequency. Theoretical DSP analyzes and derivations are typically performed on discrete time signal models with no amplitude inaccuracies, quantization error, created by the abstract process of sampling. Numerical methods require a quantized signal, such as those produced by an ADC. The processed result might be a frequency spectrum or a set of statistics. But often it is another quantized signal that is converted back to analog form by a digital-to-analog converter, DAC. In DSP, engineers usually study digital signals in one of the following domains, time domain, one-dimensional signals, spatial domain, multidimensional signals, frequency domain, and wavelet domains. They choose the domain in which to process a signal by making an informed assumption, or by trying different possibilities as to which domain best represents the essential characteristics of the signal and the processing to be applied to it. A sequence of samples from a measuring device produces a temporal or spatial domain representation, whereas a discrete Fourier transform produces the frequency domain representation. The most common processing approach in the time or space domain is enhancement of the input signal through a method called filtering. Digital filtering generally consists of some linear transformation of a number of surrounding samples around the current sample of the input or output signal. There are various ways to characterize filters, for example. A filter can be represented by a block diagram, which can then be used to derive a sample processing algorithm to implement the filter with hardware instructions. A filter may also be described as a difference equation, a collection of zeros and poles or an impulse response or step response. The output of a linear digital filter to any given input may be calculated by convolving the input signal with the impulse response. Signals are converted from time or space domain to the frequency domain usually through use of the Fourier transform. The Fourier transform converts the time or space information to a magnitude and phase component of each frequency. With some applications, how the phase varies with frequency can be a significant consideration. Where phase is unimportant, often the Fourier transform is converted to the power spectrum, which is the magnitude of each frequency component squared. The most common purpose for analysis of signals in the frequency domain is analysis of signal properties. The engineer can study the spectrum to determine which frequencies are present in the input signal and which are missing. Frequency domain analysis is also called spectrum or spectral analysis. Filtering, particularly in non-real-time work can also be achieved in the frequency domain, applying the filter and then converting back to the time domain. This can be an efficient implementation and can give essentially any filter response including excellent approximations to brick wall filters. 
bits, there are some commonly used frequency domain transformations. For example, the Kepstrom converts a signal to the frequency domain through Fourier transform, takes the logarithm, then applies another Fourier transform. This emphasizes the harmonic structure of the original spectrum. Digital filters come in both AIR and FUR types. FUR filters have many advantages, but are computationally more demanding. Whereas FUR filters are always stable, AIR filters have feedback loops that may become unstable and oscillate. The Z transform provides a tool for analyzing stability issues of digital AIR filters. It is analogous to the Laplace transform, which is used to design and analyze analog AIR filters. In numerical analysis and functional analysis, a discrete wavelet transform, DWT, is any wavelet transform for which the wavelets are discretely sampled. As with other wavelet transforms, a key advantage it has over Fourier transforms is temporal resolution, it captures both frequency and location information. The accuracy of the joint time frequency resolution is limited by the uncertainty principle of time frequency. Applications of DSP include audio signal processing audio compression, digital image processing, video compression, speech processing, speech recognition, digital communications, digital synthesizers, radar, sonar, financial signal processing, seismology and biomedicine. Specific examples include speech coding and transmission in digital mobile phones, room correction of sound in hi-fi and sound reinforcement applications, weather forecasting, economic forecasting, seismic data processing, Analysis and control of industrial processes, medical imaging such as CAT scans and MRI, MP3 compression, computer graphics, image manipulation, audio crossovers and equalization, and audio effects units. DSP algorithms may be run on general purpose computers and digital signal processors. DSP algorithms are also implemented on purpose built hardware such as application specific integrated circuit, ASICs. Additional technologies for digital signal processing include more powerful general-purpose microprocessors, field programmable gate arrays, FPGAs, digital signal controllers, mostly for industrial applications such as motor control, and stream processors. For systems that do not have real-time computing requirement in the signal data, either input or output, exists in data files, processing may be done economically with the general-purpose computer. This is essentially no different from any other data processing, except DSP mathematical techniques, such as the FFT, are used, and the sample data is usually assumed to be uniformly sampled in time or space. An example of such an application is processing digital photographs with software such as Photoshop. When the application requirement is real-time, DSP is often implemented using specialized or dedicated processors or microprocessors, sometimes using multiple processors or multiple processing cores. These may process data using fixed-point arithmetic or floating point. For more demanding applications FPGAs may be used. For the most demanding applications or high-volume products, ASICs might be designed specifically for the application. Thanks for watching. Don't forget like the video and don't forget to subscribe.